one. In this tutorial I will talk about the raising game keep menu. As the nature of Unity you have to create a game object and assign the scripts on it to create functionality. Raising game keep works like this way too. So you have to create a new game object and like rename them like race manager add spline to play later this is a recurrent component or race manager itself and etc this this is very long process and open the mistakes you may miss when on interpolator and it cause really uh, different errors to um, race manager probably it will not work so I created some menu items to create this configuration items for you uh, without having any problem or having any additional work to create them in example raising line requires some additional components to work like mesh, mesh filter and mesh render so you don't have to create them by yourself um, or screen manager also requires some um, camera and audio um, listener settings so you don't have to worry about them when you're creating uh, items from the Raising Game Kit menu mm, in Raising Game Kit menu we have few groups uh, like first group is the most important Raising Game Kit parts like Race Manager Waypoints and Spawn Point con containers uh, sec second group is the uh, additional components of the race manager they are disabled now because there is no race manager in scene and it didn't pick yet also uh, there are some prefabs already created to ready to use uh, but there's in some folders like mm, example RGK camera is here uh, instead of drag and drop to this to hierarchy I created a link in this menu so you can simply click and add the race camera to your scene also torch drive is um, in available here so instead of drag and drop I added the shortcut functionality for this and waypoints shortcuts these are the um, will help you to create your um, raising track like you can press an add new point with the control W keys when <coughs> uh, when waypoint container or another waypoint selected they will be available as I mentioned in previous tutorial uh, there are some custom inputs and text settings required by race manager so um, instead of manually um, creating these configurations I add a uh, shortcut so when you click this item it will ask you to replace current settings for you and finally I added this shortcut to website you can just click the uh, open knowledge base and developer forms by raising game kit menu welcome screen will be available on each version installation so it contains readme file this is important because readme, readme file contains an instructions to switch um, keyboard controller to mobile controller please check it out and you can read the release notes for this version uh, what is updated so that's it see you next tutorial